OK then, now for this part, using part A, we know that the product moment correlation coefficient R we worked out for interview and performance turned out to be 0.155. And they tell us that for skills and performance then, that that product moment correlation coefficient R is minus 0.156. So what's this telling us then? Well, what I'd want to do is go back and think about what the scatter diagram for this data would most probably look like. What do these statistics seem to suggest? Well, if we take the vertical axis Y for performance, let's just write that in, OK? Then for the first one, we had X, which was the interview. So we'll just write that in there. And um, what we had then was that R turned out to be 0.155. That's pretty weak uh, because it's very weak when you get R equaling zero. Okay, your points, there's no kind of linear correlation. So if I had my data points, I would expect to see hardly any linear correlation. Okay, so we've got something, say, going like this. Very weak, okay? When it comes to measuring out skills and performance, okay, let's just have skills here. Now, this is negative, very close to zero. So again, I would expect something to be in the other direction, okay? Something like that. But hardly any any linear correlation, okay? The, it's very close to zero. So what kind of conclusion would I make then? Well, what I notice is that both are weak linear correlation because they're close to zero. So neither score is a good indication of future performance. However, the interview test, the one that I've got here in green, the interview test is slightly better since correlation is positive. Okay, well that's the kind of thing that they would be working on. All right?